All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. I hope my voice coming good and clear. Please invite your friends, and if you are a Muslim, don't don't forget uh, to give me this like for the video. It's a jihad, my brother. Hmm. Uh, before we start our topic about the Shia uh, and the Sunni, uh, one of you he sent me uh, an email in Patreon, and he is saying that the Muslim Sunni. Uh, they say to him that the Quran uh, predict the atoms and the nuclear. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, for sure, always the Quran predict things nobody predict. I mean, ha we have to be honest, you know. I mean, the Quran is the book which predicted that the woman, she have a sperm coming from her testicles. And do you want, like, I mean, after all this prediction, you don't want the Quran to predict about the nuke and atoms? I mean, are you kidding me? Hello. <laughs> the Quran is the only book in the world who teaches us that the sperm of the man came in from his backbone. And this is true, actually. <laughs> by, by the way, my, my, my backbone hurt, you know. <clears throat> um, don't take me wrong, you know. My backbone uh, hurt because I was carrying heavy stuff. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> and uh, no, I did not get married. I did not carry my wife. Not yet, no. Um, anyway, it's a true story. So uh, he said to me, uh, uh, in the email, he he gave me the link. Actually, he did not give me the link. He gave me, I mean, the website where it says they are that. And I searched for it myself, and I found this. Prophet prophecy of nuclear holocaust in Surat Hamza. <laughs> you know, when you are bankrupt, I mean, you look for a penny. You know what penny? We are bankrupt. We, every back Peter, slender, who amasses wealth and the count and counts and every and over, uh, he imagined that the wealth will make him immoral. Nay, we shall surely be cast in the hutma. Uh, this word did not translate because this is the this is the better of the sandwich, you know, like hutma. So hutma now we will make it a nuclear. Let us see what hutma is. And what, uh, by the way, we will talk about the Shia and Sunni, but before, we, we are just to cover this question, because it's, it's kind of a comedy. I like comedy. And we should make thee know what is hutma. Uh-huh. Allah will make us what is hutma. Allah fire preserve fuel. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the one who made this article, he, obviously he's an idiot. Because what the fire have to do with the nuclear? Here it says fire. Do you know even what nuclear is? Uh, Abdul, nuclear is not really fire. It's not. Now, for sure it produces energy, and um, amazing energy, but it's not a fire. Your God here talking about a fire, he will burn people with it. But let us continue. And it's just stated this is Allah fire. This is, he will use in the judgment day. Nobody have it. Nobody can use it. So if you are saying to me that this is the hutma, is the nuclear, that means the Russian have the hutma. And Trump he have hutma. And I have hutma too. <laughs> Low IQ. <laughs> I mean, I cannot find one person who speak about science in this cult. He have an IQ, not low IQ. He didn't have IQ at all. Because you just said that the hutma is what Allah, this is, the, this is what Allah, nobody know it except Allah and Allah only have it. This is what the verse is saying. And now you are saying to us, this is a nuclear. That's mean Trump, he have it. France, they have it. The Chinese, they have it. The Indian, they have it. Let us do hutma. By the way, let me announce to you, from, from tomorrow, we will start hutma day. It's like a birthday, like from time to time. Hmm? I mean, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Abdul? So suddenly, this is what, and, and we go to the dictionary, none of what they are saying, their hutma is a crushing things by fire. Fire, you know, you put fire in a tree, and then the tree will become uh, uh, ashes. It crushes things, the fire crushes everything. So, the word in Arabic we say, hatama, you know, he destroy. 
What so he will destroy? He will destroy the human. Who is the one who will be in the fire? The human. Let us go to the chapter in the Quran so we can love together. And here you see how the Muslims, they corrupt their Quran and they added verses or added sentence in the Quran. It's not, it's not there in the name of Allah, the most gracious. Why you are you adding this? It's not there. It's not even part of the Quran. Why you add it? Eh, corruption. Actually, this is one of the most funny, stupid chapter in the Quran. What, what, what is the meaning of this? You know, what a duck. Who we of every kind of a scandal, manger, what this is this is this is my grandma fighting with your grandma talking about the neighbors what this is God talking the one who gather his wealth uh, hold, hold on if the one who gather his wealth he will be uh, in hell well why Uthman he was a promise to go to heaven ah uh, because he gave Muhammad money <laughs> not only that he promised 10 people to go to heaven as if Muhammad he is the one who owned own religion and the funny the Muslim they say do you know brother that the Pope of the Catholic brother he used to give a signature brother for people to go to heaven brother it's your prophet who did that the story about the Pope is a lie you're a prophet he promised 10 people to go to heaven number one is Uthman ibn Affan because he's very filthy rich and he gave him money now <clears throat> Thinking that his wealth would make him last forever. Oh, did Muhammad last forever too? But Muhammad is dead. What, what does this have to do with the topic? Thinking his wealth will make him last forever. But as we know that the, the, the poor die, the rich die, everybody die. This is stupid. Uh, by no means he will be sure to be thrown into that which break to pieces okay what is that break into pieces al hmm? ah, do you know what hutma allah is explaining to you abdul listen carefully this is your allah explaining do you know what hutma it is a fire not a nuclear so all what the verse saying allah will throw them in the fire that's it suddenly it became a nuclear by the way, look, uh, hold on. Let me let me show you that even the name of Einstein is here. Uh, okay. If you look with me here, <clears throat> I mean, we have to find how you write the word Einstein. I don't know how to write, actually. Hold on. And Einstein, Einstein. We say Einstein. Okay, let us find Albert Einstein. Okay, hold on. We are going to find you some someone who, like, I mean, have a, 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 a big physics, you know, like, okay. First of all, brother, do you see the letter A? Brother, letter A. Okay, okay. Now, brother, do you see the letter L? Okay, brother. Now, brother, do you see the letter B? Okay, brother. Now, do you see uh, uh, the letter E? Okay, brother. And do you see the letter R? Okay, brother. Let us put the miracle together. Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> and not only that, you see the Abdul, the funny, here it says that this fire is locked on them. It's locked, it's locked, it's like a it's like a place, it's a room. Do you even read your Quran? I mean, you are a bunch of jokers. Go read Ibn Kathir, go read uh, all Islamic interpretation, and they laugh at you. But they are desperate. They are Muslims. They have a bankrupt prophet who have no prophecy. He have nothing. We have to create one. Let us to go to Ibn Kathir, brother. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is a moderate. He's not like an old fashioned. This is uh, this is like the new. Uh, 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 he's like he's the smartest between them uh, for sure. Like you know, he's a uh, he's born in Syria, not between the Abdul in, in Saudi Arabia, and those Syrians are a lot smarter. So look what uh, Ibn Kathir he said. Uh, and what make you know what Al-Hutma? 
اوكي الله يستر ناس هتما از ا فاير اوف الله Then here is explaining to you that Allah will push you in the fire, He will lock you there, and you cannot get out. What nuclear? What? I mean. Anyway, uh, you know, when he uh, first time he mentioned to me about nuclear, uh, I thought he's talking about a different verse because they have a verse uh, here uh, which is different, other one speaking. Most of them they claim. Uh, That this is about nuclear and they say like in chapter 4 verse number 40 uh, chapter 34 verse number 3 chapter 10 verse number uh, uh, 61 uh, a cha a chapter uh, uh, 99 verse number 8 99 verse number 7 so they say to you the word zarra zarra is a word mean autumn or nuclear that's absolutely false the word zarra or zarra is a word mean ant as simple as that today in the word today like in the Arabic language today they use this word instead using the word nuclear and why they use it because the Quran says that this ant is the smallest in the earth which is absolutely stupid and false if you read any translation any translation you want let us see one by one you know okay you see here in the first translation they say an atom's weight the fact this is a lie what atoms Allah is the one who known the word atoms now the ant suddenly became an atoms. Change the translator. This is Yusuf Ali. Let us see. Maybe we will find somebody. Hey, look at this. Look, look at this. They put it between two brackets. The weight of an atom or a small ant. What the connection between ant and atom? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Come to daddy. Come to daddy. You idiot. The true meaning you put it between two brackets and the false one you put it as uh, out of the bracket. The word in Arabic dharra is an ant. Specifically a red ant. So Allah is saying. Allah will not, if you do anything, even if it's a small, as in the size of a red ant, hmm, even that will count. As simple as that, there's no atom, there's, it is an ant. You know what, let us go and see. Maybe, maybe, Chris, maybe Christian Prince is lying. Chapter 99, verse number 8. What a fraud. What a fraud. Everything about this cult is a fraud. Look, this is their translation. Here they use the word atoms. The fact it doesn't say that. Let us show you. Change. The weight of an atom. This is what it says in English. If we go to the Arabic, what we will see? We will find that it is an ant. Let us see in Ibn Kathir, you know, before we give up in those English translation. Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> the biggest fraud ever in history. But what do you expect from people following someone like Muhammad? Nothing but a fraud. It's not opening. All right. All right, let us see. Mm -hmm. 
la 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 it's not my favorite comedy to be honest with you let us see Ibn Kathir did not show the word end to there is no end equal to the weight of a speak of a dust shall see it mm -hmm. let us see here weight of a speak shall see it uh -huh. so this is what the word is speak now okay hold on you know what I want to go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic just for fun let us see first a Jalali in Arabic just to show you how Arabic is far away from English and you know in order to uh, to translate this we are going to use Google translation we have no choice you know so if we choose let us see uh, start from at tabari we will go to Ibn Kathir we will go just to show you how the how the fraud work all right <clears throat> oh man i probably is many pages to explain this one which page is the one about the end i think maybe at the end let us see page number five um page number four maybe I'm just uh, looking where he is explaining the word. <clears throat> Hold on. Let us do this the easiest way. Prophet Google peace upon him. All right. All right. I am going to use translation, which is Google translation. Here, this page I like it because it have all all like Islamic. Uh, interpretation in one page it's a long page but it, it does it does the job just to show you the scam okay i have i have to open it in uh, google browser all right here you will see it says <clears throat> i'm going to click translate from english uh, from arabic to english okay translating you see the arabic this is the, the this is the translation of google let us see what this word is coming as autumn as a small whoever does of the weight of a small ant is good you see the word ant the google translation is uh, is appearing the word atom here because now as i said the word dharra is coming it today is used as a word atom in arabic language in the modern arabic but as you see the word dharra is an end this is this is interpretation of who let us see uh, this is interpretation uh, let us see the arabic Tafsir al muyassar Okay, it is see Tafsir al Saadi. So, this is Tafsir al, al muyassar an easy interpretation, al muyassar This is al Saadi. Let us see al Saadi what he will say. Um, 
mediator of I don't know what is this is the Google translation. It's uh, 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 the zara the zara is called on this as a smallest ant. The smallest ant. All right. Let us continue. I'm just saving my time searching for the word ant. Yeah. So anyway, this is what the word mean. But today in the language today in Arabic, because they could not find the word fit with the with the smallest in Arabic, so they use the word dharra. However, scientifically, this word is wrong because ant is way bigger than atom. You know, to compare. Secondly, it's a false explanation in the Quran to say that Allah will judge you even by an act of an ant, the size of an ant, because what weight or size have to do with your work? You know what I mean? What does have to do with the work? Work is cannot be measured by weight. We cannot measure a, a, a good deed by kilograms. We cannot measure it by size, how small, how big it is, you know, compared to an ant. And always Muslims, when they, uh, uh, you know, they try to explain something for you, they take advantage of you that not knowing the Arabic language. Speak of a dust. Yeah, it's a dust. It, 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 but it is about ants. It is specifically about ants. But it can be used for dust too, you know. But anyway, it is not what they are saying, as usual. Allah speaking about ants, and suddenly the ant become a nuclear. You know? This is Tafsir as... Um, uh, <clears throat> I mean, we can we can read all the interpretation, and you will see. You know what? Let us let us let me go to the, the dictionary just to save my time. Why I'm doing this? Hold on. I will go to the dictionary because that will save us the time. And again, the word "dharra" today is used, but this is not what it is in the time of Muhammad. The same as you say, like gay today, you know, it is for something, but not long uh, time ago, it was for something else. All right. You see, this is the dictionary. And dictionary show you everything is used in the language. So starting from, it says tiny practical at atom, the smallest part of something etc okay and uh, this is what it is and then it says here kind of ants and this is what the quran is speaking about um, yeah we can choose Arabic, Arabic, and you will see. So, you know, there is a new language and there is an old language. The old language is in the Quran. The new language is using the word Dharra for nuclear, for, uh, uh, we can say, Dharra uh, to al matar you know, like the drop of water, rain. We can say Dharra even for rain. But uh, uh, the, the, the word in the Quran, it's about ants, specifically ants. Uh, let us see, this is Al Qurtubi. Look here, Al Qurtubi is giving you uh, uh, extra uh, explanation. He says, uh, I, I will switch to Google translation. Al Qurtubi is saying that a dhur. Or, or, or dharra is what you hit in the ground when you hit your hand in the ground and whatever is stuck from the dust that is dharra this is al qurtubi all right which is meaning this is how small it is let us use google translation
But they understand, you know, they are desperate and they are looking for anything to make Islam a valid religion. But you cannot do it this way. You know, let us use Google Translation. Uh, suddenly, I don't know why it's taking us there. Translate to English. All right. You see, still in Google, it's coming. The, the second uh, Google see the word Dharra, it translates as atom because this is how they use it today. But look what it says here. Uh, if you see, if you see the it says whatever you hit with your hand. Let us see. Okay, now he is, and some of the lingu linguistic mentioned the dharra, not atom. It is what the man, when he hit the, uh, with his hand the ground, and what stuck with it. Do you see it from the dust? That is supposedly dharra, according to the explanation of Al Qurtubi. But none of them come with the with the Muslim false stupid you know argument. And you can change all kind of, uh, like this is Al Qurtubi, this is Ibn Kathir. Let us see Ibn Kathir. All right. What Ibn Kathir says. Let us see here. Uh, this is page number three, number four. <clears throat> This is the last page. I mean, I wish you guys would speak Arabic so you can laugh easy at how they fabricate things. Where in Arabic it says? Hold on. This is page number four. To see page number two. I better read it in Arabic myself. To find it this way is not going to come. Hold on, let us switch to Arabic. Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Already we showed you the Muslim translation, right? But the, the Muslim translation in English is different from the Arabic translation. However, even in the Ibn Kathir in English, if you remember, we show it to you. It says a spike of dust, you know. And this is what it says. Uh, see it? The weight of a spike of dust. But still, uh, you know, the Arabic, the Arabic Ibn Kathir is different from the English Ibn Kathir. I'm trying to open it. It's not opening. I guess many of you is trying to open the website. This website cannot hand it to many people. The, uh, the you know, if you if to, like maybe if it twenty people they open it, the website will collapse. Um, <clears throat> actually, here, for كل واحد مما لزق من التراب ذرة, each one of the dust stuck in your hand, this is ذرة. So he agree with the Qurtubi. All right. Yeah, yeah, lost connection. I told you this website is horrible. This is the worst website ever. Um, let us see a Razi. Let us see if it's going to work. Let us hope so. Right, it worked now. Okay, I will try. I will. I will. You know, uh, a Razi is supposedly a big scientist. The Muslims are so proud about him. It's going to be embarrassing. If the Muslim they don't like Arazi now, let us see what Arazi says. 
Then the Almighty, you know, said, He who does the weight of Adarra, not Atom, of good will see and it's will see the weight of etc. Okay, now let us see what, what this Atom mean or this Adarra mean. Um, I mean, the stupid translation of uh, Google is not coming right. Because here in Arabic it says, Adhara Asgharu Naml. Adhara Asgharu Naml. The smallest between the ants. When I read here, I don't see it. Anyone see it? Anyone see the word ant? I don't see the word end and this is page number one so I should be in page number one hmm. this should be the smallest I don't see the word end all right let us do this this is the problem you don't you don't speak Arabic so what I can do but anyone who is a Muslim listening, he's watching, he can see it. Especially those who say, no CP, it doesn't say that CP. I'm going to copy. I will open Google Translation, hold on. I mean, what we can do. This was I was doing, you know, like now we have at least some translation. But this is how I was doing for many years, using the stupid Google Translation with all the struggling to convince people about the truth. All right. I will copy and paste in the front of you. All right. Let us see here. Copy. Paste. Hmm. The smallest end. You see Google Translation? Yeah, exactly. The same word is used in the hadith too. The hadith confirmed that. But I mean, it is really, really stupid when they when they try to claim something. It's very easy to get them busted. You know? But you don't speak the language. And because you don't speak the language, they will take advantage of you. Yeah. Actually, here we go. The, one of the admin posts the hadith for us. This search. Look at this hadith. Here we go. This is the word dharra in Arabic. The same exact word, word in, in, in the Quran. Mithqalu dharra. This is exactly as it is written in the Quran. What the translation here says? An ant wait. Do you see it? An ant's wait. Let us search for the same sentence in the hadith. Here we go. Look here in the first translation. They say an an atom or a small ant. <laughs> what the connection between atom and a small ant? <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. <clears throat> a weight of a speak. Uh, this one is not even translated. Uh, dust particle uh, here the, the word dharra suddenly became master seed hmm. read this look at this madness translation so now it's master seed uh, he who has in his heart an ant's weight of arrogance will not enter Jannah. Well, all the Muslims are full of ignorance, uh, uh, arrogance, because they believe that they are superior. Islam, as religion, believe in superior, which means all of you are, uh, you know, arrogance. You believe you are better than all, all mankind, uh, better than everybody, and based on this, as Muhammad is saying the truth, none of you will enter heaven. Even Muhammad, he, he ordered the Muslims to go and fight and kill 
and give them the authority because they are superior they are the best of mankind to bring people and the and the uh, chains around their necks do you see it so how how muhammad says the one who is arrogant or arrogant will not enter heaven when muhammad is teaching you to be arrogant to believe that you are superior when the quran says in chapter 3 verse 110 that you are the best of mankind you see it anyway so i think we uh, our point but the muslims today because they are so desperate trying to find to make muhammad a prophet and look here in the quran we have an answer for all their claims the quran says that allah gave muhammad zero miracle so if the quran is a miracle that's mean this is a contradiction in the Quran. The Quran say clearly, chapter 17, verse number 59, and we refrain from sending miracles, proofs, evidence, signs. Why? Because people in former generation, they did not believe in them. So Allah is saying he refrain, but you are saying, no, there is signs. Which one of them is true? Did Allah refrain or he did not refrain? And just to show you how stupid the one who made the Quran. If the Quran itself is a miracle, how you say that he refrained from making miracle? By saying this statement, you made the miracle, brother. You know what I mean? Guys, you understand what I'm saying? It's like saying, we refrain from making falafel when I am making falafel. If the Quran is a miracle by itself, just but the language the Muslim claim nobody can make Quran, brother. You know, and we we heard how Muhammad he copied the Quran from Umar. Do you remember the female who changed her voice? I, I think this is maybe hijab making her, his voice a female voice. He said, when Umar said the words, it's not Quran. But when Allah said the word, it's Quran. But it's the same words. And Umar, he said that before Allah. <laughs> and nobody can make Quran like Allah. So how you say nobody can make uh, uh, nobody can make Quran, and this is a miracle of Allah. And yet, in the same sentence, you are saying we refrain from, we stop. And nothing stop us from sending miracle ayat, proves, evidence, uh, signs. Except people deny them. And by the way, this is a lie. Christians believe in the miracle of Jesus, the miracle of Moses, the miracle of the prophets, and the Jew. I mean, what are you talking about? It's an excuse. For he was bankrupt. So he was bankrupt in his time. He is bankrupt now in the grave. And now the Muslim try, trying to cover his bum by bankrupt clean. <clears throat> hmm? This verse alone is a, is a disaster. How the Quran is a miracle as they claim. And the funny, the one who speak about the Quran as a miracle is a guy who don't speak Arabic. A brother. A brother. The Quran, a brother. Oh boy. Just to show you the miracle of the Quran, just one of them, one of them. Who remember which verse is the one speaking about you can eat in your house and your mother house and your sister house? <laughs> Forget about that one. Let me show you something more stupid. <laughs> it's a miracle. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Which one we will show you? Which one? Which one? Hold on. Let me show you this one. What is this? Barish. Perish the two hands of Abu Lahab. Uh -huh. Allah saying, perish the two hands of Abu Lahab. Okay. His wealth and his children will not benefit him. What is this? He will be burned in the fire blazing flame. Okay. And his wife who carry wood. Like what a bro. <laughs> Nobody can make Quran, brother. Can you make Quran like this? Muhammad is angry from his uncle. His uncle wife, she make fun of him because he's a liar. Allah make a verse saying, his wife, she carry wood. And she have in her neck 
a twisted rope of method from Pond Viber. <laughs> this, this is God. <laughs> this is my, this is my, my, my 95 years old neighbor speaking to herself, suffering from Alzheimer, whatever it's called, the illness. What is this? God, he make a chapter about the guy and his wife and now we have a chapter about the guy and his wife in the Quran. Why? What happened? Let me show you one more before we move to the second topic about the amazing uh, Quran, brother. I mean, we cannot, I cannot resist the amazing Quran. <clears throat> Just an example, we are not picking our cherry. Ch chapter 66, uh, uh, verse number 4. Muhammad, he have a fight with two of his wives. They are five foot tall. And look what happened, brother. Allah, he sent the verse. Ta -da -din, ta -da -din, ta -da -din, who is din who, Who's going to answer? Jibri, uh, uh, Muhammad, no. Jibreel. Jibreel answered the phone. Assalamu alaikum. I want you exactly to tell Muhammad the following. Yes, Allah. Please tell me exactly. I will tell him exactly, word by word. I want you to tell him the following. And then Jibreel, he carried this chapter, and now he delivered it to Muhammad. If you two, wives of the Prophet, S-A-W, namely Aisha, and look how they add a spice to the verse. I mean, all of this is addition. All of this. What wives of the Prophet, namely, where it says that? Okay, so between two brackets, turn into repentance to Allah. Your heart are indeed so inclined. If, 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 if. But if you help one another against him, <laughs> bingo now. War between Syria and Turkey, brother. And Putin is spanking Erdogan. What will happen now? But if you, if you, Help one another against him. Against who? Against Muhammad. Verily. Then verily, verily, verily. Verily, Charlie Chaplin is going to be supporting. What is the heck? Then Allah, he is his protector. And not only Allah, Jibreel. And not only Jibreel. And every righteous Abdul in the world. Including, it doesn't say that, CP, from the believers. And not only that, and furthermore, all the angels are his helpers. Like, what the heck, the guy, he have a fight with two wives. All of this, he need to fight them. I mean, who is left? When you hear this verse, you think that this is the war between Muhammad and the Roman, or Muhammad and Trump, and Muhammad and the Russian. It is just two women, they are five foot tall, they don't even know how to read their name. To fight with his wives, he need all the support. Why? They are big and beautiful. And Muhammad was skinny like a dharra, as an ant. I mean, do you see the amazing Quran? This is a Quran. <laughs> this is very heavy, heavy duty. I mean, who is left? And every righteous, if you don't like the translation, by the way, we can change it for you. Let us see uh, Yusuf Ali. Yusuf Ali, uh, maybe it's easier to read. Those guys, they add too much spice. If you to turn in repentance to him, your heart are indeed so inclined. But if you back up each other against him, Truly, truly, Allah is his protector. Protector, what they are doing to him, spanking him. Somebody explain to us what happened. Are they, are they doing sexual harassment to the Prophet? Muhammad always, he used Allah as a sex toy. Anytime he wanna, he, he, he wanna force people to do something, okay. I cannot fight them, I cannot stop them, I cannot debate them, I cannot prove them wrong, I will make a verse about them, and that's it.
This is Islam. By the way, for those who uh, uh, I, I, I received some uh, uh, emails saying, we, where, where are you? We did not see you for three days. My friend, we, we mentioned to you before what we are going to go Friday, Saturday, Sunday in a quality of life. Like today, because already I'm going to be late, it's going to be Monday for those who are in Asia. So I consider it Monday. Otherwise, I will be in the quality of life three days a week. So join us there and don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't subscribe and your heart turn in repentance to him and you subscribe to my channel and you back up each other against me truly truly Allah is my protector and Zibril Jibril is going to come after each one of you if you do not subscribe and every righteous Al-Qaeda ISIS fighter Man, Muhammad, he need one point whatever billion to fight his two wives. How big they are. And you are asking me why I'm still single? I mean, seriously. Think about it. Two women, they made a man who have the biggest gang in history terrified in his pants. And you keep asking me why you don't get married. I'm, come on, me. Look, don't you see what's happening, brother? If we ask Zach and Naik, how, how, how this happened? Zach and Naik, he have his own way to explain it for sure. He say, hey, brother Fitta, there's a person in the temple, and he always make fun of the earth. And the earth is very accurate. Women are crazy. And they are very dangerous. As an example, let me show you here. No, not here, actually. Actually, it's all over. I have nailed all over my body. Because they are very dangerous. Let us be truthful. Do you see women they grow nails? Yeah, yes, uh, Zachary Naik, we saw women grow nails. Exactly. That is their third night and they are going to cut the police, the prophet pieces. If Allah did not involve an every right believer and debris, otherwise the prophet will become Sith Kebab. Uh, the prophet will become what? Sith Kebab. They will make him Shish Kebab with their nails? Exactly. Now I understand the danger. I mean, this is very, very tough. I mean, I was wondering why women, they grow their nails. It looked like it's, you're right. Exactly, stupid. And you're stupid. And finally, I get you busted. You get me busted? I get you busted. You agree with me. <laughs> nuclear. The prophet protecting nuclear. He cannot, he cannot, he cannot, he cannot even shut, shut up his wives. And the funny, the Muslim, they say to you, there's a, there's a writer, an artist, a, a famous person, his name George Bernard Shaw. Uh-huh. He said, and, okay, well, he said that in the page number 41, but where? We could, we could not find the book. That if the Prophet Muhammad was exist now, he can solve all the problems while he's drinking his coffee in the morning of the whole world. Are you sure? We cannot find this book. We cannot find when this guy he said that. In fact, he said this, he said the opposite. As you see, Muhammad he cannot solve a fight inside his wife, his, his house. He needed Allah, Jibreel. I mean, if a person is in control of his house, do he need all of this? All right, we are finished with this. Uh... <sighs> about this topic let us go to the second topic shall we as usual Muslim Sunni and Shia Egypt today 24 minutes ago court rule that all Shia media outlets to be closed if, 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 if. and the brother Islam is the most open-minded religion not only they harass the Christians they kill them and they shut down their churches brother they go after Shia too and by the way Shia are not better <laughs> if you go to Iran they do the same to the Sunni so don't think uh, you know no they are the same the same the majority always discriminate the minority so in, in Egypt, the Shia are a little tiny minority. 
Look how filthy such a court. And I will tell you why they have to shut down their websites and their videos and YouTube. Because a lot of Muslim Sunni, they are getting busted. This is what's happening. The Shia, they are using Islamic Sunni source to prove that the Islam which the Sunni follow is a fraud. Literally. And actually, they, they are right. The Muslim Sunni are a fraud. So the Muslim Sunni, they cannot debate them. They cannot answer them. They cannot refute them. So what they do? We shut down all their YouTube channels, all their Facebook pages. This is imagine, guys. This is a country. This is a country. If you are a Shia person right now, live in Egypt. By law, you are not allowed to have a YouTube channel to defend your belief. If you are a Shia person from Egypt and you have Facebook posting about your belief as a Shia, they will arrest you. Right? That is the truth. Because they are cowards. They cannot debate them. They cannot prove them wrong. So what we do? We silence them. And here you ask yourself. You see this country, Egypt, have an embassy. Uh, Trump, he sent them hundreds of millions of dollars, blah, blah, assistant. Uh, uh, where is the European Union? And how come they have sanctions against Russia? The only problem... European Union they have is Russia they wake up in the morning they attack Russia they sleep at night attacking Russia whatever garbage happened in the Middle East they don't care where is it Trump why he is sending all those hundreds of millions of dollars to Egypt so we shut down people who they want to speak their mind Hmm? We have a person, his name Jundullah, uh, about Islam Lul. So the word of God has been changed and re uh, re revised. Jund, you, you are the last one to talk about changing the word of Allah. Aren't you Muslims say the Bible is changed? By saying that, you just admitted that Allah already changed. This is how foolish you are. Don't you Muslims day and night say that the Bible changed? But isn't it the Bible in the Quran, according to Allah? This is his words. So look, look how foolish those people are. They claim that nobody can change the word of Allah. But yet they say that the Bible of Allah changed, the Torah of Allah changed, Allah he sent. Hold on, hold on. Just to show you the mathematics of the Abdul. Allah he sent the brother, 100, brother, 124, 24,000 messenger. How many, how many? 124,000 messenger, brother. Okay. Each one, brother, he have with him a message. Okay. From who, brother? From Allah, brother. Okay. That's mean a book from Allah, message from Allah. So we have 124,000 books. Okay, brother. Where is the books of Allah? Brother, they are gone, brother. They, they are what? They are gone. They are gone where? They took the bus, brother. <laughs> this is how foolish the ones who call themselves Muhammadan. They claim that Allah's words never change, but yet they say the Torah changed, but the Torah is the word of Allah. The Injil changed, the Injil is the word of Allah. The song of song changed, the word of song of Allah. You Muslims are crazy. Too much hashish. Too much hashish. For sure game is over. Muhammad, he got busted, he ate the poison, he died. Game is over. The woman, she said to him, I did that to you. If you, if you are a truly a prophet of Allah, Huh? The one you claim is your God, 
You, he will save you. If you are a fraud, you will die. And he died. The game is over. <laughs> what do you want to do? You want to shut down my YouTube? <laughs> oh. Oh boy. You know, Junaid, I have an offer for you. Do you dare to call me? Guys, the guy who his name is Junaid. Junaid means a soldier. Actually, little soldier. Junaid is like saying a mice, like micey, you know, for, for a mice. A ratty for a rat. Are you a real soldier or you are just a Junaid, not a Jundi? Do you dare to call me, Junaid? I will open Skype just for you. Do you have the courage? Junaid? Junaid? Listen, brother. If you call me, you will earn a lot of deeds from Allah. And he will increase the size of your private part. As the Prophet, he promised you, and you will get the power of 40 men in Bang Bang. So why you will not call me Junaid? Or you are just a potato? Is Junaid is moving now or he is playing dead? Are you playing dead? What happened? A second ago you were a text hero. Junaid? Don't you want to? Don't you want to see how the Muslim will be proud about you after you call me Junaid? I will make you famous, and I want you to read for me from the Bible, Junaid, not only from Islam, brother. Eh, Junaid now is dead. Face to face, why not ass to ass? May Allah ask you get lost. And the Muslim they record me says I am saying to Muslim get lost. I say get lost to all of you, cowards. Uh, face to face what face to face you coward you are coming to my form in youtube and now you are talking about face to face a second ago you were posting text vis vis du vis you don't even have a face do you secondly i, I don't speak to uh, face to face i'm like allah you know uh, hold on uh, so i just remember now uh, somebody sent me an uh, a question in uh, patreon about a muslima she said that uh, hijab is not in the Quran. No, hijab is in the Quran. But hijab is not the cover of the head. The, the, the one who sent me the question, who, who said that there is no hijab in the Quran, that's stupid. Hijab is in the Quran, you know. Those people, they are idiots. They do not know uh, uh, what they are talking about. So there is a hijab in the Quran. But the hijab in the Quran is not something you put in the head. What happened to this website? Now it's not opening. Okay. All of this because of Junaid. Junaid what we did. I oh, come on. Eh, stop working. Hold on, let me see. What happened to this website? It's not working. Unbelievable. A second ago it was working. Let me see, is it my internet? No, my internet is functioning. Uh, this website is stubborn now. It says error. Check network. Okay, look like we have a we have an error. <laughs> error. <laughs> rura rura. Like come on a stupid website. All right, all right.
let's try a different website as long as this website is not working um, Yeah, hijab is one of the verses revealed by Omar, not by Allah. Exactly. Okay, I will open a different website. Uh, let us see, search truth. Okay, because this website for some reason is not working no more. Suddenly it has a heart attack. Let me try again one more time. Because I prefer, you see the the text in that uh, in the Quran wall it come clear the other ones let us try one more let us, one more time I think now it's working let us see look like it's not working forget about it here we go we will use the other website what we can do all right you see this is the word hijab this is the word hijab chapter 7 verse number one, uh, 46 uh, chapter 17 verse number 45 chapter 19 verse number 17 Chapter 33, verse number 53, chapter 38, verse number 32, uh, 41, uh, 5, uh, you know, all those verses, they have uh, hijab. But hijab is not a cover for the head. This is the understanding of the ignorant donkeys. Hijab is a curtain where it's going to isolate you from being seen. Let us see all the verses in the Quran. But let me let me see first if this website is opening. Ah, it's open finally. It work. It work. All right. You see what the word hijab translation is? Between them shall be veil. Do you see the word veil? Veil between them, not in the top of them. Do you understand? It's a curtain. Let us see different verse. Here it says, Hijaban Mastura, chapter 17, verse number 45. What the word hijab is translated? Between them, we put between them a veil invisible, it's a curtain. It's a curtain to hide you. Do you see it? Okay. Chapter 19, verse number 17. This is supposedly about Mary, the mother of Christ. She placed a screen to screen herself from them. It's a veil. It's a curtain. Do you see it? And this is the word hijab. And not only that, Allah himself, he speaks from behind the hijab. You know, we don't want to show the verses one by one, but all of them is saying the same. In chapter 42, verse number 51, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, uh, 50, 51, it says, It is not fitting for a man that Allah should speak to him except by inspiration. But Allah did not speak to Muhammad by inspiration. He sent a guy, his name is Jibreel. That is not inspiration. This is how stupid the Quran is. They say to you, it's a miraculous Arabic language. Inspiration, if God inspire you. Not God even spoke to you directly. If he, if he said to you, like, okay, uh, when, when they asked Jesus how we pray, he said, pray like this. This is not inspiration. Do you, do you understand me, guys? Do you understand me? When the disciples, they heard Jesus saying to them, directly speaking to them, pray like this. That is not inspiration. And the Muslims agree. 
that Muhammad never spoke to Allah and he never wrote a word by inspiration the fact it is delivery from Jibreel so where is the inspiration this is how stupid the Quran is however our topic here is that the word hijab it says that Allah will not speak to anyone except from behind a veil do you see it do you see the word behind today they use the word hijab to speak about something they cover their head how you can behind it i mean this is in the top of you so what hijab is is a curtain it is not a cover for the hair it's a cover it's a total cover as a curtain and here we go we show all the quran all of the same coming as a veil veil and what kind of veil as a curtain you know if you change the translation here you see here they are using the word veil but to veil yourself veil yourself is a curtain if you change the translation this is yusuf ali let us see the front translation you can do like this game play you know change the translation by yourself right behind a veil behind if the veil in the top of you you're not behind it correct if the veil in the top if, if the veil, if, if you are covered by something in the top of you you are not behind a meter you know this is you have to prove it that this is a meter this is a this is a fabrication hmm? This is why your prophet he says when when the judgment day Allah will, will open his curtain. So don't tell me it's a meteor. I mean this is a stupid answer. Do you want to show you the hadith? The Muslims they are ignorant, they don't know what they are talking about. If you say that in Saudi Arabia, they will take you to jail. It's a metaphor. Anything, anything is embarrassing, it's it's a metaphor. No, you Muslim believe that Allah. He have a curtain between us and him and nobody can see him. Literally. You want to bet? You want to bet, brother? No, most them want to get me busted. Ah, I forgot they want to debate me face to face. <laughs> only face to face, brother. We will debate you only face to face. 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 To face. <clears throat> Open his curtain mean that you will see God on the judgment day another meteor. No, not uh, okay. Let me get you busted, Abu Taha. You see, Abu Taha, it's um, it's my pleasure to get the Abdul busted, so everybody will see that Abdul did not know their cult. It's my pleasure, my friend. Hmm. Guys, remember, here we go. It's in the screen. This is what Abu Taha says. This is a meteor. It's not real. Okay. Let us see if this is true. In a second, your prophet Muhammad will get you busted. It's a meteor, brother. It's a meteor. It's a meteor. <laughs> oh boy. Is that a meteor? Are you going to see him for real or a meteor? Your prophet even described that seeing Allah is going to be as easy as seeing the cloud and the sun. Not only that, your prophet Muhammad, he described Allah uh, that he will come to you in a shape other than the one which you saw first time. What shape? What shape? What shape of your Allah came to you first time? Any Muslim knows? Sheep. Is that a metaphor? Metaphor? And then the Lord of the words, this is who reboot a ring, 
will come to them in a shape nearest to the picture they had in their mind. In my in my mind, I have an octopus. Do you see it? Do you see the word shape? And you are saying to me, this is a meteor. Are you there, Abu Taha? Is the word shape is a meteor? Taha is the word shape is a meteor. It's obviously it's a metaphor, brother. We will see the real Allah, but the, but a curtain is a metaphor. <laughs> okay, Abu Taha, what interpretation you like me to show you to get you busted? What is your favorite interpretation, brother? What is the favor? What is your favorite interpretation? Because we can go to the interpretation, brother. If there is any interpretation, brother, agree with you, brother. Or you have the only correct interpretation for the Quran, brother. Which one is your favorite? Name the book for me. Hmm? This is Ibn Kathir. He says, Omen we are a hijab. The, uh, the same as he spoke to Moses from behind the curtain. Hmm. Let us show you this hadith here. The brother. <laughs> Look what we are trying to find the you know like what 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 came to us Muhammad with his stories. Yeah, look like. Here we don't. We don't let things go. We get the Abdul busted. No mercy when it's come to the truth, brother. <clears throat> Abu Taha, this is Ibn Kathir Abu Taha. How Allah he spoke to Moses. What happened to this verse here? Hmm. Or from behind a veil, as he spoke to Moses, peace be upon him. He asked him after he had spoken to him, but this was not granted for him. In the Sahih, it's recorded that a uh, uh, messenger of Allah, he says, ma kallam Allahu ahadan illa min wara'i hijab. Let us see the hadith. See your prophet, how he get you busted. Where do you get this word of uh, uh, metaphor from? You see, when you say metaphor, you have to prove it. Let us see. <clears throat> this is your prophet speaking. He said, Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind the screen. Do you see it, Abu, Hita, Abu Taha? Abu Taha? You say this is a metaphor. potatoes Allah he have a curtain he speak from behind it he's the same as the love guru stranger stop lying well uh, if I am lying that's when your prophet is lying it's him guys it, the, the, who is the one saying Allah speak from behind the screen 
You have to prove to me that the screen is a myth of Mithor. I mean, here we go. Your prophet saying he never spoke to anyone except from behind the screen. You see, he can say Allah never showed himself. Okay, no problem. But he did not say that. He said Allah never spoke to anyone except from behind the screen. So stop playing, Christian Prince. It's your prophet saying that, you idiot. It's your, it's, your, it's your prophet, Prophet Muhammad, the, the prophet of the pizza. Jibreel bringing pizza, pizza, pizza. Here we go. This is one of the pizza of Jibreel. Stop lying. What are your prophet saying? He, the Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind the screen. <laughs> so why are you, how you are saying to me I'm lying? Okay, this is my challenge for you, brother. Who is a Muslim want to show me that this is a metaphor? Prove that this is a metaphor. I show you that this is not a metaphor. It says a scream. Literally. I want you, brother, to get me busted. Who want to do that? Who is a Muslim Muhammadan? He have a proof. Agree with him. Ah, he hide his appearance. But whatever. how he hide his appearance? Your prophet explained. He says from behind the screen. <clears throat> hmm? Do you see it? <coughs> potato, potato, potato. But the only thing they are good about the city, you it doesn't say that, CB. And you are lying, CB. But they can prove me wrong. The only thing they can do is to make an order from the court to shut down the Shia websites so the Shia will not get the Muslim, Muhammad and Muslim Sunni busted with their stupid belief. By the way, don't take me wrong, the Shia, they have more stupid belief, but they are more accurate, way more accurate than the Sunni. The, the Shia, the only thing they have, which is, I mean, when it's come to Islam, they are more Muslims than the rest of the Sunni, way more Muslims. But they have a lot of stupid stories about Ali and Hassan and etc., which is obviously fiction. But when it's come to following Islam, Shia is way better from the fraud of the Sunni. Way better. The Sunni, they killed the grandsons of Muhammad. You believe it? Those people who believe they, they claim they follow Muhammad, they killed the family of Muhammad. They tried to burn the, 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 the house of his daughter. They hit his daughter. They cut the heads of his grandson. They killed Ali. I mean, who, who's left? And they claim that they are following Muhammad how you follow Muhammad and you kill his family Kuffar love pagan Shia you are you are the pagan my friend you are the one who kissed a black stone mm -hmm. but by the way I, I I have a question for you as long as you are talking about pagan I like I, I like pagan I like pagan what's, what's wrong with pagan but as long as you are mentioning pagan brother I have a question for you you must kiss the black stone. But what is the black stone? As I know, the black stone is gone. There's little tiny pieces. So you are kissing what exactly? You are kissing the wax. The wax, the wax. Work, work. Where is the black stone? There's nothing left. There's little tiny pieces inside the stone, inside the wax, not in the stone itself. Look, look at this picture, guys. Look at this picture. Those pagan Muhammadan, they claim, they, they call other pagan, but they, the fact they are the pagan. Look at this. Let me show you the picture over there. I will show you the picture, not the picture. 
this is the black stone, brother. Watch the kiss. But there's no stone, brother. This is wax. The stone is gone. It trust me, it's gone. Look, look. Let me show you the stone. Let me show you how many stones. Little, little tiny rocks. Little ticket, ticket, you're going to Very cute. What is the stone? You Muslims kissing the stone which sent by Allah. But this, the stone is gone. And this is additional proof that Allah is a fraud. Because if Allah, he sent the big stone, what happened to this big stone? How it became small, tiny, little, tiny rocks. Look how many. Eight, eight rocks. Little tiny, tiny, this one in the size of my booger. Let me see. Let me compare. Because we are up, we keep uh, digging. You know. Let me see. Yeah, the, it's exactly the size, the size of my booger. Did Allah send you a big stone, or He send you little tiny rocks, and you put rocks around them, brother? Where is the black stone? Like what happened? I'm very, 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 brother, very disappointed. Allah, he sent us a black stone. He said the black stone is good to witness for us in the judgment day, brother. And then we find that the black stone destroyed, is gone. And you, So you are kissing what exactly? The wax? Let me show you how they do maintenance to black stone to, to, to keep it to keep it alive. Otherwise, the business of the Kaaba will stop. <laughs> Hold on. Let me show you how they do maintenance. <laughs> I mean, if this is stone is made by Allah, sent by Allah, why you are making maintenance for it? Allah should preserve it. You can right now go to YouTube and search the maintenance of the black stone. What a garbage cult. Brother, what this guy is doing, brother? I hope you can explain to me, brother, what this guy is doing. He is fixing the black stone? He's friend. Ah, I know now where the dentist they get the idea of putting things in your teeth. Are you there, Blackstone Kisser? No one has to kiss anyone. What do you mean has to kiss? So you why you okay? Hold on, guys. No one has to kiss it. So why you prophet kiss it? I'm going with you, Assad. Assad is a, 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 a hold on, hold on. This guy, his name is the Lion of Islam. We got the lion here. I mean, who 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 care for the cat? Look, look at this. We get Mr. Lion himself here. Okay, Mr. Lion. As long as you are a lion, you know. I mean, you are a lion, so I'm sure you can give us a clear answer. As long as you are the Lion of Islam, and no one has to kiss anyone, why well, your prophet kissed a stone? I want you to think to 10 before you give me the answer, brother. Do you have an idea? Why you're a prophet, he kissed the stone, as long no one need to kiss the stone, has to kiss the stone. Why you're a prophet, kiss it? You just said nobody need. Big up. Abu Taha, big up, Akhi. <laughs> Supposedly, they are, they are supporting each other. Like, uh, Abu Taha, we are too stupid now. Not only you, like they got me busted too. Uh, Asad, where are you, my friend? You know what? I think Asad is the same as Junaid. He changed his name, he came back with Asad. He got spanked before and now he changed his name. Who is a Mohammedan can tell us why the Prophet, he kissed the black stone as long no one need to kiss it. You just say that everybody my witness. So why you kiss it? Just because the prophet kiss it, it doesn't mean we have to. Okay, wonderful guys, wonderful guys. Just because the prophet kiss it, we doesn't mean we have to. No, you have to. You are a liar. You are a Sunni, and Sunni mean you follow the steps of the prophet. So you are a, you are a fraud. You are a liar, because Sunni they have to follow the steps of their prophet. This is what Sunni mean, and this is Sunnah. So you are a liar. Number two. As long nobody need to do so. So why the prophet did it? I will give you three options. He was a pagan, 
or he was crazy or because it's in the shape of a private part of a woman do you have an answer everybody so your text saying nobody have to kiss it so why Muhammad kiss it Muhammad is pagan isn't he if you remember once I made a video in the chat I went to Muslim website I said uh, it's called convert to Islam so I asked him brother I have a question well, I'm confused about this one why the prophet he kissed the black stone the smart idiot in the other side the Muslim from there he says because it's holy so I said to him why it's holy he said because the prophet kissed it <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Muhammad married how many women? But we are only allowed four. That's because he's a fraud. He has he have his own law when it's come to his private part. This is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. When a person he claimed that he is coming to serve God and he gave himself options and the privilege is about sex and penis and money. Obviously, he is a fraud. Secondly, if the prophet kissed the stone, that is a privilege. So why Allah did not give him four stones? <laughs> Everybody knows that the Arab before Muhammad used to kiss the black stone. And he is following the pagan Arab. Stupid. Can't you even find me one Muhammad and he is smart? It's mission impossible. Mission impossible. And look how ugly guys look 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 this this picture is good I show you really the details do you see the ugly brown uh, uh, wax do you see it it looked like poo, poo how in the world you guess this look 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 let me zoom in let me zoom in I will zoom in I will zoom in what the heck is that this is the blackest stone. This is the one sent by Allah. Let me call Zach and Naik and ask him about this black stone. Tereden, 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 tereden. Christian Prince, I did look on me. But I have a question about the black stone. First, you Muslim, you say it's black, but I see it brown. Christian Prince. You are stupid and you have eye problem. Uh, no, I, I'm looking at it right now. It's a brown. The brown you idiot, it is the wax. It is not the stone. The stone are black. Uh, uh, the wax, okay. So where is the stone? I mean, I see just uh, little tiny rocks. What happened? First of all, I'm going to tell everybody that you are ignorant about the clan. And you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. Go ahead, please, Zach and I. Allah, he said the black stone was big and beautiful. And by the way, I like women who they are big and beautiful. Ah, okay. Well, I, I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about black stone. Exactly. So Allah is in the black stone was big and beautiful. But it is very hard for the Muslim to create. So Allah, he decided to make it shrink. He, he, what? He decided what? To make it shrink. Can, can you stop spitting at me, man? Exactly. I am doing that exactly so I can spit on you. Ah, okay. Well, I have my umbrella anyway. It's okay. Ah. Uh, so uh, Allah, he made the black stone shrink and became little tiny pieces. I mean, does, does that make sense to you? First of all, in Islam, did nothing make sense. As an example, did it make sense to go around the Kaaba? Uh, no. Did it make sense to throw rocks at the heart of the Titan? Um, no. Did it make sense to kill the black stone? No. Exactly. In my religion, did nothing make sense. So leave me alone and don't call me again. And this is how Zach and I get me busted. In my religion, nothing makes make sense. So this is stone sent by Allah. Is going to speak to you in the judgment day. Is going to witness for Allah. And not, what? Not, not only that. Hold on, let me show you the hadith. The hadith says that in the judgment day, this black stone is going to have a tongue. What? What what? <laughs> oh 
what a crazy cult read carefully brother your prophet saying I heard Ibn Abbas says the messenger said please be quiet the messenger is talking now this stone will be brought in the day of resurrection and it will be given to eyes with which to see and tongue with which to speak and it will be witness for those who touch it in sincerity okay i got the idea now and you know because i'm an art artistic you know i'm very good in art as you know i mean so <clears throat> So according to your prophet, this is exactly what will happen in the judgment day, brother. Don't take me wrong, brother. This is a pure art. So according to your prophet, Allah will send the black stone have two eyes. I'm sexy and you know it. And it's going to have a brother, a mouth. Big mouth. And a tongue. Like what the heck? Big tongue, long tongue. And now I challenge you to say I am lying. Hmm? Isn't it what the hadith is saying? But how this is can be in a small tiny rocks, they are eight, not one. Where the tongue will be? I mean they are small tiny rocks, the black stone is gone. By the way, just disclaimer, this picture is not for sale, okay? <laughs> don't print it and put it in your bedroom. Please, don't use my art for your own purpose, okay? <laughs> no, no, look, look, look what this Muhammad he said. Hold on, let me show you what uh, Asad he said. I will show his message. He said, ah, I cannot show his message, I don't know why. But let me, okay, hold on. Even it's not showing. He said, ah, why you deleted his message, Caroline? Like, come on, I want to show it. He said the Christian prince is sexually frustrated and he need to get married. You know, I said, what if I show you a hadith saying that the prophet was sexually frustrated and he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind in Boom Boom. Do you see how frustrated he is? And then he invoked his God Allah to send to help him. And then he sent him a dish of shish kebab. He ate it, he got the power of 40. What do you think about that? Sexually frustrated. Isn't it your prophet wife who said that let me take a, a picture of this because I want to I like to save my art, you know, for the future. You know, one day you are out of money, etc. You can say it. Hmm. Man. And by the way, why the black stone in the shape of a private part of a woman? We talk about that before. What let us uh, let us uh, <coughs> brother, as long as you are talking about sexually frustrated, brother. Is that your prophet? He imagined himself having sex, but in fact he did not. I mean how frustrated he is. <laughs> instead who uh, instead of being with the wife he find himself with the pillow are you there mr frustrated aisha she said who is aisha aisha is the goat of uh, the, the, the prophet wife the prophet continued for such and such period imagining that he had Sexual frustration, brother. <laughs> I mean, how frustrated to be Muhammad. 
You go to sleep with your wife, you woke up in the morning. Actually, this is during daytime. This guy he imagined things are happening, but they are not happening. This is not at night. This guy is mental ill, his, his mentally ill. He think he did. Muhammad has many wives, no sexual frustration. Okay, what the what the what, what the benefit of having many wives, but you can't sleep with any of them? Don't you? Are you blind? Are you blind? <laughs> How he have many wives, yet he invoke his God to send him a dish of shish kebab so he can have sex with them, because he cannot. How he have many? Obviously, Muhammad he marry more women because he is trying to show people that he is a man. But the fact is not. He cannot do it. And they're proven in front of you. This is your books. Are you going to say to me, it doesn't say that, CB? Hmm? So when Muhammad was imagining himself having sex, in fact, he did not. He was doing what exactly? <clears throat> Oh boy. <coughs> anyway, I think we have enough for today. Uh, obviously, Muhammad, yes, he was important. Actually, the Quran mentioned that. The guy, he made fun of him because he cannot have babies, he cannot have kids, he cannot have sex, actually. Uh, and we have tons of reference about Muhammad himself admitting that he is uh, sexually disabled. You see, those who they are sexually disabled, they brag about their sexuality. As an example, look at this hadith here. <clears throat> Muhammad, he used to go around and sleep with all his wives. A Muslim guy, he corrected me, supposedly, supposedly he's correcting me. <laughs> he said, not every day, CP, in a day, in a day. <laughs> the guy, he has 13 wives, and yet he is sleeping with them all in a night or in a day. Who can believe that? And not only that, he is acting like a pig. He don't wash. He washed after he finished all. Hmm? Do you see it? What is this? This is this is how he pro you know he is bragging about himself that he go around. He do boom boom around to all his wives, but then the wives they get him busted. They say he did not do it. He imagined himself. And after all those women, he stepped with them. How many kids he have? None. Zero. All the daughters Muhammad he have are the daughters of Khadija, which means he is a stepfather. And Muhammad never have a children. The Muslim, they say, he have a child from Mary the cook. This is the slave she is sleeping around. This is not from him. He could not have from Khadija. He could not have from Hafsa. He could 13 wives and hundreds of sex slaves. And here, actually, each time I read this, I imagine, like, you know, people, they say, you're, you're a pig. You're a pig, right? If somebody is very dirty. But Muhammad is pig more than the pigs. He wash at the end. And what kind of a human being, let us say for the sake of argument, he is doing it for real. What kind of a human being, he go from woman to woman to woman to woman, take off your panty. Boom, 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 boom. Next, take off your panty. Boom, 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 boom. This is a prophet of God. When this guy, he prayed to Allah. He have 13 wives and he wash at the end. So when, when he do ablution to the, to, to the prayer. But I thought about it and I come to only this conclusion, brother. That Muhammad was a rabbit, which means he have orgasm in two seconds. By the time his wife should take off his panty, he have orgasm, he's done.
Liar, you said his wife have denied having sex with him. Yeah, well, obviously the liar is your prophet because your prophet saying that he sleep with all of them, but the wife says that he did not. <laughs> so who's the liar? Me? <laughs> you got your prophet busted. <laughs> I love it when a Muslim he tried to defend his prophet. Well, obviously he's a fraud because the wives they said he imagined he did not do it. But in his story, he go around between his friend brother. Yesterday, I did boom, boom to all the women brother. All of them brother? Yes, all the brother. And not only that brother. I have no time even to watch brother. I watch at the end. <laughs> what a pig. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> you know, this is not only what trans... You see, when a man, he sleep with many women, he will cause the women to have cancer. And he might have cancer himself. Secondly, that will transmit all kind of sexual diseases. And that explain why Muhammad always he see his wife having water which is yellow in their private part. Read with me. This is Muhammad describing the water of the women in her private part. He always describe it as yellow. That because the wives of Muhammad and the women he step with, he had them infected by a sexual transmitted disease when somebody is infected then that liquid will turn into yellow that is an infection do you see it and by the way your prophet here is being a scientist he says that the one who have orgasm first, the baby will resemble him. <laughs> Dr. Muhammad is teaching us uh, biology. The biologist, Dr. Muhammad. Can you show us where the wives of Muhammad, they say that? We showed that already. Go back in the video, you will see it. Are you new? Can you show us where the prophet say the wives of the prophet says once the prophet was bewitched so he had began to imagine that he had done a thing in fact he did not like what like what the prophet continued for such as such imagine that he had sexual intercourse with his wife in fact he did not how many times i need to repeat it i mean why people are slow Anyway, anyway, before we finish for today, I, I like to take a, <clears throat> take a look at the black stone. And I want to thank Allah for sending us this stone. Because if we don't have this stone, we will kiss what? I mean, imagine what we have in this earth. This is the best gift from Allah. He sent us a black stone. To do what? To kiss it. And when you kiss the black stone, by the way, it erases your sin. And yet they accuse the Hindu to be pagan. They accuse the Christian to be pagan. They accuse the Jews to be pagan when they are the fact they are the only one who kisses stones. And they believe that the stones are the right hand of Allah. Okay, before I go, I have to, I have to send a kiss. To, I, I'm going to flirt with the black stone. Hold on. I'm going to give her a kiss. Yeah, this is her lips. Okay, hold on. Her black stone, she don't do uh, brush her teeth, so it's going to be like yellow stuff here, you know. <clears throat> and uh, now we have to uh, uh, the black stone is not less than any beautiful stone in the world female stone have uh, like injection for lips silicone so we have to add some silicone here silicone make them big stone big 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 lips and yeah, then this is getting bigger yummy man look at this Ooh. I cannot resist this. I mean, how in the world I'm staying single until now? And all this temptation, this is a lot of temptation. Oh, man. 
Okay, guys, I have to, I have to go. This is too much. And now the tongue, uh, oh boy, the tongue will come out, the tongue of the stone, like if you have a big tongue, as Allah, he said, I mean, the, the tongue of the stone, even the stone has a tongue. May Allah tongue you. And now I know where this song, this dance in the uh, South America is called tango. Uh, tango, 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 the tango tango ah tango tango uh, no, no hold on what 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 tango tango it's, it's uh, we had we, we need some background music background you know how beautiful unbelievable look how sexy very beautiful yes very beautiful absolutely Shake it, shake it. Don't break it. There's only the tiny rocks left there. Watch the tongue, don't bite it. But please don't suck it. Take it easy, as easy. Hmm? Okay, okay, that's it. Thank you, Allah. Thank you, Allah, for your mercy, Allah. This is a mercy. This is black stone is a mercy for mankind, brother. I mean, what mankind can do without this mercy? We cannot do anything, you know. Actually, by the way, I heard that we can fight Corona with the black stone. By the way, the first the first Corona appeared in Jeddah in 2012. Do you know that? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, <coughs> I better go <coughs> before I get uh, accused that I'm getting you tempted with the black stone. I don't know how many of you now is like thinking about converting to Islam so you can go to the Kaaba and you put your tongue inside that stone there like Yappa. Oh mommy. Oh mommy. Oh mommy, mommy stone. Oh mommy stone. Oh mommy, oh mommy. Oh mommy. What a crazy religion. Oh da da da. And they call us pagan, oh mommy. <laughs> they say we are pagan, oh mommy. But they kiss the black stone, oh mommy. Mommy stone, oh mommy stone. What a religion, man. The black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day. Stone. Is that metaphor? Metaphorical? No. You see, I can accept it as a metaphorical, but your prophet is saying the one who kiss it <laughs> is going to have tongue and eyes. <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here. And uh, I want to say thank you. Uh, let me take the picture down, man. Some women, they might lose their baby. They are in the ninth month now. I mean, that's that's scary. I never thought about this. What if somebody saw me because she lost her baby because of this picture now? Let me put something, uh, make people relax, for, forget about the past. Okay, relax now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Hijab destroyed me. <laughs> True story, brother. Absolutely. That's why the coward, he did not dare to call me and speak to me. Coward potatoes, all of you. We make you, we make you, wish. we make you shrimp. We sh the shrimpy hijab. Seven people there to hang up on me. I did not even speak for three minutes. Cowards. And he got a a, a a tape of his sister, who is a filthy woman. She was speaking about Jesus sucking breast of who? Do you know? We got him busted. Coward. Anyway, I'm very proud to be a Muslim. And Allah will give me the reward. And if you are wondering why Muslims don't dare to call me, go and ask Mimi Hijab. 
ask Ali Dawa, ask Fifi. All of them, they want to debate me only face to face, brother. Only face to face. If I am not showing my face and you are terrified, what if I show my face? You are doing poo poo in your panty just for having me, and you are the one who challenged people. You want to debate Christian press? Where is the debate? Coward. Potato. I am the nightmare of Allah. I am the Christian prince who made tens of thousands of Muslims leave Islam and none of you can do anything about it you cannot you don't dare to call me you don't dare to debate me you don't dare to answer me and you cannot answer me and the only thing you can do go edit some videos connect them together and say Christian prince says that my friend, in my videos, always I say the word panty. Like now, I just said you do poop on your panty. I said the word penis. Vagina, as you see the black stone in the shape of vagina. So there is no need Muslims to cut video and put it together. Everybody knows that Christian prince, when he got Islam busted because Islam is a faith religion, he used those words. So, this is the best you have. You cannot debate me. Christian Prince, he said to a Muslim woman, suckle me. I was reading the hadith for her from your faith, a prophet. And look how they got their prophet busted. If somebody practice Islam, he is a sexual predator. This is the message. If somebody read for them what their prophet said to a woman to suckle an adult, he is a sexual predator. <laughs> uh -uh. My friend, those why you promote them, light of all nations? Those they, they get big only when you promote them. Let them stay small. All right, don't go around and promote them. They are potatoes. Anyway, guys, don't forget please to download the video, share it with your friends, and uh, because Allah will bless you very much. Uh, Mm. Asad, he believed that the goat ate Aisha Quran. I mean, this guy is Asad or he's a cat. Look, look what he said. Look. Goat ate Aisha Quran. Yes, believe that. Okay, hold on, you idiot. So, Aisha Quran is that the Quran of Aisha or the Quran of Allah? <coughs> and secondly, brother, as long you admitted that the goat ate the Quran. So how you Muslim you say to us, Allah, he protect the Quran. If Allah could not stop a goat, how he can stop Christian prince? <laughs> a goat. A goat destroyed the Quran of Allah. And you cannot wait to get a beautiful woman in heaven? I don't know. I'm not sure about that, brother. Ah. Uh, I hope you will get that woman maybe one day. But I don't know. I have a feeling that you will not get there. I mean, are you sure that there is women in heaven waiting for you, brother? Are you sure? For sure you are sure. I mean, you are a Muslim. Have you ever heard of a Muslim is not sure? Like, hello? <laughs> oh, boy. <coughs> anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for being here. Tomorrow I will, I will be here again. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I will be here. God is willing if everything is good. I'm working really hard. I have something I'm, I'm working in. Uh, but it's my pleasure to be with you, even though I am tired. It's my pleasure to spank Allah and his messenger. It is my pleasure to show the Abdul how stupid their cult. It's my pleasure to make them leave Islam. It's my pleasure to share the truth. And the truth will set you free. And that is the Messiah. 
imagine what we are talking about in the last two hours how stupid this cult is and imagine you are reading any chapters or any speeches of the Messiah can we compare I mean how in the world the Muhammad and they claim that the Christ is a prophet and Muhammad is a prophet if they are both a prophet how come that Muhammad is an the idiot of the village he is busy talking about nothing except his private part having sex kissing the black stones the women she have a sperm coming from her chest the man have a sperm coming coming from his backbone and then when we read and we listen to the words the amazing words of the messiah how in the world you can follow such an idiot how you can deny the christ you idiot and you follow such crazy stupid man perverted man who your story says he sleep around with all his wives without washing imagine that is not a human nature my friend to sleep with all your wives with what with one wash that is an animal nature it is not a human nature you want to sleep with many women God he created Adam and Eve not Adam and 1000 Eve it's not a human nature to say you can light your wife that is the devil if you light your wife you will be honest with who how that can be the human nature what kind of a prophet teaching you that the woman she can lie to her husband and the man he can lie to his wife what a family that is the nature of a human or this is the nature of a fraud man to give himself excuse to lie and all Muslims lie where is the where is the ethic is it a human nature to to, to, to tell your followers to go to sleep with the children is it a human nature to rip a woman two pieces by tying her legs to two different camels when she is over the age of 80 or this is an animal fraud criminal mafia don't talk about the human nature your prophet have nothing to do with the humanity anyway thank you guys for being here may the lord bless you and again don't forget please to subscribe to this channel for we are going to be there three days a week which mean i will be here like today consider as monday you know monday tuesday wednesday blah, 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 you know a friday we will be in the other channel which is a quality of life m27 as you see it all right we will be there for three days where we can take calls from christians because usually during the week we take only calls from muslims muhammadan we challenge them we get them busted but we want to take a break from the cult of islam for three days and we talk about different topics and we will talk about the Bible too. So if you like to join us, subscribe and be part of the family there. I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And we pray to the Muslims to see the truth and the truth will set them free. God is not a pimp to provide you a lot of women for sex. God is not a plastic surgery doctor from Thailand who change your gender who will give you endless penis shame on you God will not teach that a man he can have sex with watermelon what a disgusting cult even watermelon is not safe God will not teach you that you can have sex with the children's That cannot be God. If you want to learn about God, go and read any speech of the Messiah. Any speech. And you will see how a huge black stone kissers wake up. The stone will not help you. We are Christians who follow the living Messiah. And even you and your cult, you believe that he's alive. 
and you cannot even come with explanation except he will come in the judgment day to be judged why I mean I mean isn't it obvious the coward Muhammad he just came had get himself busted why only Jesus will stay alive until judgment day why he will be the judge and not only judge a judge and justice who can be justice save God and not only judge and justice, he will kill the Antichrist. And why he is the Antichrist? Why is that anti Muhammad? Why is that anti Allah? And when Shaitan he see the Messiah, according to Muhammad, he will dissolve like salt in the water. That is how holy he is. Shaitan he jump in the shoulders of Muhammad, according to the Hadith. Shaitan he throw words in the mouth of Muhammad, according to the Hadith and the Quran. Shaitan will dissolve when he see the Messiah. That is my Lord. Shame on you to follow someone like Allah, the fabricated God of the pagan Arab. But as we say, heaven and hell is a choice. And the, the gate, the hell gate is wide open for those who want to enjoy it. You will be there with your prophet for the crimes he did. And just a matter of time and you will see. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And they will see you again. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And thank you very much. Take care.